Have you always wanted to make custom stickers with your scanning kit, but you just didn't know how to do it? Well, I'm going to show you starting right now. So with the scanning kit, you can basically make custom stickers out of any image that you can print. So it's pretty nice. For example, um, I've got a picture of my dog here that I've copied and pasted into um, just a Word document. I'm in MS Word. And any photos you've got, you can turn into stickers. You can also take any images that you have on your computer and turn them into images. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So we would go up here to insert on the upper toolbar. Maybe if my computer wants to cooperate. There we go. All right, so click insert, then click pictures. This device and then you would navigate within your computer structure um, to find the image you want to insert. Now it has to be like a JPEG or a, a PNG file like you see here. So this is what I'm going to insert now. It's called, it's a, some envelope seals that I designed. Now this is going to be available as a free download on my blog as well as in the video description through February 14th, 2021. You will also get it as, a, as an SVG file that you see here, the scalable vector graphic. But what you want to use for the scan and cut is, a P, is the PNG file, the image file, like a JPEG. A JPEG is also an image file. So something to know about images, when you insert them into a Word document, you can't move them around until you format them in relationship to the text. So in the version I have, I just click on this little box here that shows up. You may have to right click and go to format picture, but it'll give you the same options. So I click on this little box and it's giving me, so right now it's set up as inline with text and I don't want it with any text related because we're not going to have any text. So I'm going to hit see more. I'm going to go up here to text wrapping and then I'm going to just click in front of text. That to me is the one that's easiest to move around. Now if you have text that you're trying to group around an image that's not what you want to do in a, like a, a Word document. But for this particular exercise where we're just printing out stickers, that's what I would use. All right, and then you can do um, Control C to copy it and then Control V to paste. You can also do the same thing by going up here, copy paste. Um, and so I'm just going to group these like far enough apart from each other that I can get the border around them. And that's really all there is to it. So now I'm just going to print this document. I could also save it at this point if I want to reproduce this at a later time. But right now I'm just going to go file and print. <laughs> now I always go into printer properties just to make sure that it's going to print on a, at a high quality. So I'm printing this onto some matte sticker paper. My uh, printer doesn't have like the option for sticker paper, so I'm just leaving it on plain paper. But under print quality, I am going to change it to high. And then I just hit OK, print, and it will print these uh, for me. And then we will go to the machine. Okay, so I've printed out the stickers that you saw just a second ago. Look at how cute my dog is. Anyway, <laughs> so I've got um, a standard tack mat here and I'm just gonna stick this down. Now this is some matte sticker paper that I purchased pretty inexpensively off of Amazon. I will have it linked along with any other supplies in the video description for your reference. This is basically like a one big sheet that's like one label and it's very easy to print on because it is matte. Um, you can also, while I'm thinking about it, you can also stamp images onto matte sticker paper to make stickers. You could also um, write, like make drawings, whatever you want to do. It'd be kind of fun to have like your kids draw something um, and then you can turn them into stickers, like that's pretty cute. That's something you can do on matte sticker paper really easily. It's tough on glossy sticker paper. You can print on that really easily, 
but stamping or drawing on it would be harder just because you'd have to have specialty ink that would stick to a non-porous surface because the coating on glossy paper makes it non-porous as opposed to the matte paper which is quite porous. Alright, so I'm going to stick this down. Open up my machine and load my mat. Now the great thing about the scan and cut and the thing that sets it apart is the scanner. And that is what is going to make stickers really, really easy. <laughs> because we're just going to scan this in. We don't have to do anything else. We just printed it and scanned it. And even if you drew on it or stamped on this, same thing, we're just going to send it through the machine, let the machine scan it, and then it's going to know what it needs to cut. So it's, I've loaded the mat, and now I'm going to hit scan. It's going to ask me, do I want a direct cut, a scan to cut data, scan to USB? I want a direct cut, so I'm going to hit that. It asks me to select a device to convert the scanned image to cutting data. It asks me, uh, it says the machine or like a, a computer. I'm going to do the machine gives you this warning about kind of everything you need before you start. I'm going to just hit start and I am set in black and white recognition mode. So it's now going to just scan the scan the mat. And you might be able to see the the images have come up here on the little screen so I'm going to hit okay. All right, so the little arrows here are asking me to frame the images, so I'm gonna do that. And hit preview. And then you can see the borders or the cut lines that it's put around all of the images. I will hit okay, because it looks like it's got everything. I do want to add a border to all of these, so I'm going to hit this little outline symbol here. Asks me for the outline distance I want. 0.04 is pretty good, but I'm going to actually go to 0.08. And you can sort of see on the screen how it gets a little bit wider. It doesn't look like I've got any overlapping each other, so that's good. So I'll hit OK. And OK again. And so here's like just the outline that it's going to cut. You're seeing the actual cut lines. Looks good. So I'm going to hit please select. And I want to cut. Now on the DX machine, which is what I'm using here, you have the option to do a half cut. And that is what we want because we don't want to cut through the backing paper. We just want to cut through the top sheet of the stickers so that we can leave them on the page and then peel them off as we need them. So how you would change that is you, you click this wrench symbol and this is going to take you into all the cut settings. So I'm going to now cut speed, cut pressure, all of this is for you know regular cutting. I'm going to scroll down and now we see half cut. So I could turn it off but I want it to be turned on. Now cut pressure on half cut is what you're going to want to mess with as you test on your machine to see what works. I've found that three is what works best for me. You can have it. I would start off on auto, do a test cut, which we will do here in a second. If that doesn't work real well, go up like one at a time until you get to one that's, that seems to work perfectly. So I'm going to leave mine on three. Don't worry about the weeding box or anything else. That's the only thing we have to change. Hit OK. So now I'm going to do a test. So I'm going to hit the test button. And it brings up this little box. It's a triangle with a little red box around it. And that actually is on a pretty good spot. But I'm going to actually move it over a little bit. You can also click this arrow key to move it using the arrows, just so you know. Sometimes it's hard to grab that. So I'm going to hit start. All 
All right, so the test is complete. I'm gonna just try to get this off with my, oh, there we go. And it comes right off perfectly. And the back, it has not been cut through. So it looks good. So I'm gonna just go ahead and hit start to cut the stickers. All right, so it says finished cutting, I'll hit OK. Before I unload the mat, I wanna to check to make sure that these have been cut through. So I'm gonna just go try to get my, this would be a good for a weeding tool to do this too. Okay, yeah, it looks like those are cut. That's tricky one. Oh yeah, those are cut. All right, so they look good, so I'm gonna unload the mat. And there we go. Cute personalized dog sticker. <laughs> and envelope seals. Little XOXO. And so that's all it takes. That's it. That's all you need to do to get some custom stickers made with your scan and cut. Pretty cool. I used those stickers to personalize the envelopes for some valentines I just sent out, so I hope I've touched something you didn't already know and inspired you a bit. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up, and if you're interested in the scan and cut and need some help, please consider subscribing to my channel. Here's another video that I think you might be interested in, as well as a playlist. Thanks so much, have a great day.